Hey, BookTube, welcome to the History Shelf in a new location, very briefly, downstairs in my wall-to-wall um, -wall and floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, which one day when I can get around to uh, <laughs> staging this appropriately, I can give you a full tour. I know I'm just teasing you guys right now. Look at just a teaser. Um, but you know what? We're about, what, <sighs> almost seven days into March, and there's a couple of videos I meant to make on the 1st of March or the 2nd. Uh, we've got Women's History Month and we have March of the Mammoths. But for this video, I want to focus on the latter. I myself cannot undertake reading a mammoth book this month. I've got a lot of other books on my plate. Um, so I thought that didn't preclude me from making some suggestions for all of you out there who love big history books. If you want to read some history that's over 800 pages or close to 800, um, well, I have many that are over 800 and a ton that are very close to 800. I won't get to all of them, but what I'm going to do is take a, a gander through my, uh, my shelves here, and I am going to pull something. I'm going to pull a stack of books for you guys. And uh, shortly here, you'll see I'll be back at my desk and I'll go into uh, some suggestions in case, you know, you want to read, you know, God help you. <laughs> if you want to spend the rest of this month and we're already a week in, so I apologize that I'm late, as it were. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd, you know, change it up a bit and uh, I'm going to browse these stacks here and uh, pull out some books for you. So stay tuned. 